It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. Boop -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo hey everyone, welcome back and come on and your favorite toy guy here with another amazing, spectacular, unique, one of a kind video. Yep. This truly is going to be a one of a kind unveiling unboxing, if you will. But as always, before we get rolling, especially, especially if it's morning where you're at, kick back in your most cozy, comfy chair. I recommend a Barco lounger because the name is just too damn funny. And uh, grab that steaming, delicious, sweltering cup of coffee or perhaps tea. Adjust it, sturdy blanket to your specifications. Now grab a snack that you can munch on, and we will proceed now. So, what's in the box? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. As a matter of fact, because I actually don't know. Let's see, I am going to... Oh. I'm going to grab some batteries. Because I don't know if whatever's in there... I have a feeling I might use some C's. I finally got new C's. But I have these Duracell D's just in case. Uh, I'm going to see if I have some loose C's. So stick with me. Loose C's. Loose C's. Where are you? Loose Aha. Aha. All right. Look at that. I found two Lucy's, <laughs> just like my beach on Lucy. All right, are these any good? They say they expire March 29th. So if I need more than two, I could open up these. The reason I have so many C's, by the way, is because of our new touchless soap dispensers. Believe it or not, in the year 2024, use three C cells. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. You'd think they would have a rechargeable. Anyway, you're probably saying, why don't you shut the heck up and uh, open this damn box? And uh, yes, I will. Let's uh, start pulling out some packing here. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is a prototype. At least it was billed to me as a prototype. And... I have no reason to doubt its authenticity because it came from Japan from a source that's well known for finding prototypes. Now, let's see. So here is, ooh, it's kind of, kind of sketchy to try to, to try to stand it with it, all this packing. So let's start unwrapping this and get ready for the big reveal. Yes, I'm doing some of this off camera. Now, this is what I call a late model prototype. Well, late to me, not anymore. Oh, let me take this off camera for one thing. All right. Ah, here we go. The Houdini-esque. Now you see it, now you don't. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, we did that part. <laughs> Are you ready for the big reveal? Uh, I guess I'll turn it around. So this is a Horikawa prototype. I'm guessing from the late 1960s to the early 70s. Unique. Um, hopefully not a garage bot, but uh, I can't imagine. So... Without further ado, let's lift up the curtain in three, two, one. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, here is a ball blowing, not ball busting, a ball blowing Horikawa prototype with a ball. <laughs> he has his ball, not multiple balls. You can see here, is this just like a wacky concept that they decided, uh, I don't really want to 
do this anymore, but... Um, interesting, right? I, the way they cut the uh, ball blowing tube, looks like they had some tooling. So, And uh, now I'm thinking it does take C's. So let's get C's in here. I have no idea if this works, by the way. So we're doing all this together at the same time. And again, I have no idea if this is gonna work. So it's a ball blowing television robot. Uh, let's see. You know what I forgot to do is put the ball. <laughs> right, let's get this ball in here. Whoa, Nelly. That is friggin' cool, but the TV screen isn't doing anything. Oh, man, that's cool. Now, I remember John at the Robot Hut saying, usually when they have to stop and going into another action, that usually indicates that it's a legit, you know, prototype. That's friggin' awesome, man. Wow, that's actually one of the best ball blowing actions I've ever seen. Honest to God, on any toy, just because of the way it uh, suspends it and then drops down and then blows it again. That little cage kind of keeping it. When he goes on the next cycle, I'll pick up the camera. Wow, that is freaking so cool. Looks like the moon. The only thing is, why isn't this TV screen doing anything. Was it supposed to? Maybe they disabled it? I don't know. All right, when the ball goes down, I'm gonna cut it off. Let's see if there's a mid position. No, no mid position all the way. That's pretty cool. Hey, Andrew, come see this. This is one of the coolest actions I've ever seen, man. <laughs> Here in my video now, check this out. This is the best ball blowing action I've ever seen. Isn't that cool? Hey. Looks like a moon suspended. The yellow looks like the moon last night. The moon over the ocean, which I did a short. Anyway, just wanted to show you. Very impressive. All right. I have to take a picture for uh, Instagram, right? Sure, or even a small video. Anyway, my friends, that's a look at your Horikawa ball blower. <laughs> Not ball buster, ball blower. Prototype. Let me know what you think. I think this is a fantastic concept that they should have put into full production. Um, I'll have to investigate why the TV screen is not operating as it's supposed to have. It, maybe it's disabled because of the mechanism required to blow the air, so it's possible they could not fit in. The scrolling space screen that these would normally have, I, I don't know. But either way, I think this is remarkably cool. Uh, and for these Plastic Horikawas from the late 60s to the early to mid 70s. I I liked them, but I wasn't a huge fan. But now I really appreciate it more and more, But and especially the prototypes. So, you know, before I sign off, let's uh, just fly around this guy. The eyes look a little different to me for some reason, but maybe they're not. The antennas look common. I'm not sure I've seen these ears that look like rockets or missiles. The back looks standard. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So do me a favor, if you like this, uh, please thumb up the video. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, according to the algorithms of YouTube, please consider subscribing, because that will help um, 
drive more traffic and save these precious toys from oblivion uh, memory holding them extinction <laughs> so uh don't forget to subscribe and as always i appreciate your time thank you very much for joining me and uh, i will look forward to reading your comments on this i'm sure there'll be uh, plenty of them so thanks again my friends and i will talk to you later